Hello everybody, me again in episode 2 of A Bizarre Data Pack Dev Vlogs and I couldn't help myself but just to animate the moves that I've done and implement them. Basically all four of these moves work now. See there's animation. Yep, they all have animations and as you can see I also added the cooldowns. These don't actually signify seconds so I might just remove the S because I kinda don't want to do this per second tick again. It's I think it's like it's also inconsistent on the old pack so it's not actually per seconds it just check whether in 20 takes it checks if you have cooldown then minus one on those cooldowns whatever it's it's not consistent so i'm just not gonna add it and uh block still not here uh, the knife still not here but quick stop as a great effect still not here but main thing that i'm gonna showcase in this episode is combos has the title would imply. So this being a separate iron column. And you can do a basic combo like jab, hook, overhead, uppercut, sign smash, jabs, gut punch. See, that's that's the vision I have for this data pack, that you just do combos. Whatever you want the combo to be. I also severely uh, nerfed the barrage. Now it does the total damage it does is basically half of what it used to be. So you can, I mean, you can already hear it, but uh, just the amount of hits it's actually taking, the amount of hits that are actually landing, and so, that's a pretty short cooldown. But I am gonna implement barrage back system, so this thing has decent damage that can do. But the other stand users can barrage back and then. They get to continue the combo that you do. So, yeah, you see? The old barrage would have just killed that iron golem in one single barrage, so it, w it was too OP and just had to nerf it. I also implemented the uh, refresh cooldowns again because I did so much testing with the cooldowns. So yeah, I just had I just had to have there. Summon another iron golem and the combos get more insane if you have time stop. So, let's see if I can manage to do a combo to this guy. <laughs> yeah, you can see he's pretty beat up from the combo, and you can just keep doing it. And each move has a specific amount of stun, so not each move can be a true combo, like jab into gut punch. Jab does not give enough stun for you to land a gut punch. But there is enough stun if you land an uppercut and then gut punch. Or what I do there is sign smash into gut punch. They have enough stun to connect to each other. and. It's a pretty good combo to start with. So you can see the stun with the blue particles on the head. See that? They were stunned the entire duration for me to land the donut. I also buffed the donut to be much faster to part up. And that also helps it. And so just skip the cooldown. And show you it also works for the uppercut. Ah, that is a big rush. <laughs> Oops, it does it. Yeah, uppercut and the gut punch. So they had the particles all the time that I was using my gut punch. But if I do it with just a jab, you see the particle stopped before I could land it. That means they could either trigger a counter or like block or like teleport away or just literally walk away from the donut and it miss and they can. They can combo me for missing because it does have end lag. See, there's like a couple of ticks, 10 ticks end lag for you to like stay there. So, classic uh, fighting game tropes of punishing opponents if they screw up their moves. So, you always want to start with combo with a cap, that. Yeah, pretty basic combo. Let's try and use the barrage and time stop because they can't barrage us back in time stop. So let's try that.
Yeah, you can also use the end of the time stop to land a, a long stun move like uppercut or side smash and then extend the combo by using god punch at the end. But you don't get to hear the calculating sound effects, so that's also a downside. Effect. But that was pretty much dead after the combo. So you see, you can land pretty nasty combos in my data bag. And that's that's the vision for it. Is that's that you do combos to land. I do got my first. That probably deals much less damage because I wasted a gut punch. Uh, yep. So sometimes some combos are just much better than the other, but it also depends on your cooldowns. So I might um, play around with cooldowns, see if. I need to increase them because they might be too OP, so basic stuff. So I believe this is the optimal combo for that. Something like that. Or what if I do like like this? Like I wanted to die by the end of the entire string, so like oh. I mean that I guess that also works if I use the kick barrage. It, it hurts pretty nasty. I should also nerf kick brush, not gonna lie. Because it does deal a lot of damage. Um, might also increase the cooldown, just so you don't spam it. It's, it is pretty powerful. Or, I just nerf every other move in the hopes that you, t you really need to land combos to deal any significant kind of damage. Because for now, I I'll look into here. Barrage damage is one, but I nerfed it. It's barrage. I have to only hit you every couple of ticks. So, I First, I have a loop command for the barrage animation. Goes up to eight, then it reaches nine, goes back to one. Repeat, repeat, repeat. That's how you do the animation. And so I basically just use the loop car to one, three, five, seven. So it's every two ticks now that it does the damage of one. So it's severely nerfed. Literally half the damage it used to do. <laughs> and for the kick barrage. The kick barrage though, it still uses a uh, full one tick, so let's we'll just nerf that here and there. Barrage animation, a uh, barrage damage, here we go. If it matches, I'll just change this to dojo loop. Matches one. Uh, what is the loop? Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's basically just one and three. Copy, paste, then three. Alright, go um... Yep. Also nerfed. Also, some of the keys like are just really far to reach, but with a lot of practice, you can quickly switch into the keys. Everyone like. Yeah, a quick stop just doesn't give you enough range to get over there really quick. So, I mean, you're not supposed to combo off of the god punch, so yeah, I guess that's a fair implementation. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to combo with God Punch. Well, now that I think of it, hmm, what if you had a wall right in front of the God Punch? This is basically like actual combos like in Street Fighter where you put them against the wall and they just can't do anything about it. So, let's do this again. Uh, what the hell if I didn't miss? Okay, let's try and do that again. Up at the wall, refresh my cooldowns. Now let's do a wall combo. Oh. They kind of suffocate. That's that's an oversight. Um, big entity suffocate. If I use, if I got punch them towards the wall, no, um, I want to fix that. But there, uh, he tested this earlier. Just use a very tanky vindicator. Yep, amplifier tree. Hmm. 
I guess it kind of works, but mm, that was very sloppy. I might, let me just try and do it again. Yeah, you can, you can definitely do it. So, yeah, that... In terms of all the combos you can pretty much do, um, I guess you can try and do the knives combo. Let's see if that works. Just use an iron golem. So let's do this again. Refresh cooldowns and see if I can pull out a knife combo this way. Yep, you can definitely just prepare knives, and you could probably do more knives, so you don't have to do it, because I did put a cooldown to this thing, it's just 5 seconds, but your time's at 9 seconds, so maybe you can sneak in some more knives there, like 2 sets of knives, let's see. Oh, what happened if I don't use Kick Barak? That's gonna kick him around. Oh, it still stabbed him though. Get it. Ah, uh, that was very sloppy. <laughs> oh my god. I, yeah. Even I still need to do to practice the combos. So well, let's keep trying. Summon Iron Girl and time stop. <laughs> we can definitely do that better. Definitely do that better. Hold on. Yep, you can definitely one shot combo somebody with time stop. That is actually quite ridiculous, but it takes takes some training to do, like memorizing which buttons you should be pressing and right clicking, whether you should be shifting to use the appropriate moves. Probably add more damage if I just had the knife ready, but it's not. So like knife fully knives and jab jab, rev cut, and and with much barrage and gut punch. Yeah, you get the gist of it. Uh, the pack has a lot of combo potential, and I'll play around with cooldown, so you just don't use the same combo all over again. But play, I definitely play around the combo mechanic. So let's see what I can do. What else I can add to this? And I've done some progress on the data pack again. And I've got added a few things. Oh, there's not much, but I've added them. First, got the block. Oh, uh, technical difficulties. Hey, right, welcome back. Um, never mind what just happened. So, yeah, you can block now. And of course, just normal block. So, yeah, you do, you do become slower when you're blocking. Keep in line. But this basically blocks all attacks. And... I haven't, I haven't done any block breaking mechanics yet, so it's not here yet. And I also added the uh, single knife. Also, I just realized that's the wrong animation. Hold on again. Alright, we're back and I fixed the animation. Okay, just does a very quick flick of his arm. It's probably far as a knife, see if you can see it. Yep, it's the old knife model and this one does the bleed, bleed damage and stuns them. There we go. Just didn't apply there for a second. That would be about. But well, there we go. It bleeds them. I also stuns them for a second. You see the effects. The bleed damage is actually pretty damn aggressive. And nice flurry. There we go. So you can actually do this and then do this. Right. You don't actually get to see the knife because of how fast they're going. But trust me, the knives are there. I mean, I could just show it by like throwing without hitting something. See. Nice. And let's try another time stop combo with the with the knives. Just the knives. Yeah. Nice. Yep, they all stack in damage and um, the guy's pretty much dead. Like the world's knives is actually no joke.
because the bleeding does stack and by stack like the duration it becomes longer the more the more the single knife throw you had on the enemy it actually stacks on the bleeding effect so in theory if i just do yeah he's bleeding a lot like yep and i can keep making bleed by just throwing out her knife that's actually yeah you can keep your victims bleeding the entire time but just keep if you just keep throwing a knife at them damn okay i might, I might tone that down that that might be too op but oh yeah i forgot to showcase the block because five more block into this yep no damage i can with expect and just combo the guy that that Can I come with the guy? Yep. You can definitely fight mobs with it with this data pack and yeah, that's really all it is I have for today and see you in the next episode of A Bizarre Data Pack Deathlocks.